There's a toxic substance that could be rattling around in your drawers, hanging on your walls at home or at work, just waiting to break out of its glass prison. Greg Strauss, a physicist at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, is on a mission to show that we don't need this dangerous substance, mercury, to tell the temperature. So one of the issues that occurs with mercury is that it's a powerful neurotoxin and it, it's dangerous to human life. So we want to try to come up with solutions to help remove that from the environment. And since digital thermometers have really come a long way in the last 10 years, now's an opportunity to take advantage of that technology that's available. Ending a service that it had provided for more than a century, NIST stopped calibrating mercury thermometers in March 2011. While many states have banned or restricted the use of mercury-containing devices in homes, many industries still follow standards that require their use for temperature measurements. So for a, a electronic thermometer or a digital thermometer, you can have accuracies or uncertainties that are orders of magnitude better than that of a mercury thermometer. There's sort of a cultural change and a regulatory change that has to occur. But from my point of view, it's sort of interesting to recognize that all of us sort of carry smartphones as opposed to just old analog type based technology phones. And we've become very much used to the digital technology in the everyday commonplace, but industry is lagging behind in converting over to the digital world as far as temperature is concerned and a few other areas as well. There were over 800 standards that needed to be reworded, restated, or even find an alternative thermometer for their um, apparatuses. And we have a little over 200 to go at, at this moment. NIST has launched a new website that tails the hazards that mercury poses to human health, describes the alternative temperature measurement technologies, and has resources and tips for recycling mercury-containing products. According to Strauss, recycling mercury thermometers helps to reduce the total amount of mercury in the environment in other ways. When you get rid of mercury thermometers, um, that mercury gets converted into use in CFLs, or compact fluorescent light bulbs. And while there happens to be a very small amount of mercury in a CFL, that reduces the amount of energy that it takes to light up a room. And by reducing the amount of coal that we primarily use in the United States to generate power, then you effectively reduce the amount of mercury that gets put into the environment from coal mining. Reducing the amount of mercury in the environment? Lowering electricity bills? Improving the accuracy of temperature measurements? Sounds like a win-win-win.